Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksome. For all things geek, please like and subscribe for future content. Well, we haven't really covered a l in the last couple of days about Vic Mignogna and uh, the whole situation with the, uh, you know, I stand with Vic or the, you know, kick Vic attitude that's currently going on. One of the big issues at the moment is that Rooster Teeth, they've, they are now advertising that they are actually hiring a paralegal and a lawyer. Does this mean that obviously Vic is suing them and they're looking for people to come on in and help them out? It's So it's quite wishy-washy what's going on at the moment with Rooster Teeth and what they're doing. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be looking at a few of the things that are currently coming up. So over on Twitter, Goshel Zen is the one who uh, posted this. And we have this here first. The, so we've got the paralegal. And obviously, uh, Rooster Teeth, you know, 4.0, whatever, and all this. And then at the very bottom, it says attorney. And if you go into them, it actually shows for the attorney. So obviously, the job and the qualifications and what their uh, obviously the benefits and the perks are for working at Rooster Teeth. So obviously, they, they, you know, they want JD from a respected law school. They want two plus years of experience in transactional work. Ideally, including some intellectual property matters. Excellent drafting, negotiation, communication, written and verbal. Interpersonal and organisational skills are also a must. The Business and Legal Affairs Department works as a team in a highly collaborative manner. The ideal candidate will have a cooperative, positive, team-oriented spirit. So... Obviously, with that there, it does actually seem that they have probably have received stuff from Vic and his lawyers. Because, obviously, uh, Fenimation and Rooster Teeth, they've, uh, they have got rid of Vic. And, obviously, they're still trying to get rid of his name from certain things. But I also believe, though, that so, you know, Google Play and some of these other places, they are looking to get his name reinstated if it already hasn't been reinstated. So, I'm not too sure at the moment if it has or not. Uh, so you also look at the benefits and perks you get for working for uh, Rooster, Te uh, Rooster Teeth. You get 100% company paid health and dental benefits. Use what you need to pay time off. 401k with a company match. Catered meal on Mondays. Opportunity for career growth. Flexible dress code. Kitchen stocked with snacks and pet friendly. Out of all of them, the one I would actually uh, like the most is the pet friendly and also the 100% company paid health and dental benefits. Which here in the UK you don't really get a lot of that sort of stuff. you know. But some of the new companies are coming in. So, going along, actually, that was obviously for the attorney. We're going to look now at the paralegal part. So the paralegal uh, qualifications. Five plus years of experience with contract drafting. Ideally with some work related to intellectual property. Excellent drafting, negotiation, communication, written and verbal, interpersonal and organisational skills are also a must. It's almost the same as exactly the same as the attorney one, and obviously the benefits and perks are exactly the same as well. So, with all of this, what I like about it is, obviously, now that they are hiring these people, they must be, uh, obviously, well shitting themselves basically because a lot of these people normally have their own law firms that take over but obviously if they're going to hire in-house now then they want to keep people well anything comes to them instead of just going oh you know we need to make an appointment we need to do this they can just go straight to their own team and they're there and obviously you know, go shell zen she has power as well also i should also put a disclaimer here so that people don't get too confused we don't know if these job openings are 100 percent related to vic's current legal pursuit this is not confirmed or anything, but we can't help but feel like the timing is interesting. Let's leave it at that. Which it is. It's the time that this has come out is, obviously, you look at it and you think, well, obviously, they are after quite a few things. And, well, it's one hell of a time, like, you know, because this whole situation, you know, why didn't they hire these people before? You know, why didn't they have them already on their team? Because with what's going on, you would expect them to have all this type of uh, personnel on board straight away. Well, I would anyway. With uh, If I was, well, if I was a company like this, I would make sure we always had someone 
on board at all times so they can deal with everything that happens. But going forward, I can really see this starting to come out a little bit more now. We will probably see a lot more issues with all this, but the only thing that we currently have still is the only people who are actually going absolute batshit crazy on Twitter is Renfamous, because for some unknown reason, she is just going completely berserk, and for some unknown reason, she's just blocking people, she's getting people to mass block people when they haven't said nothing, and these are people who are coming out as well in the past, they have done, you know, gay slurs and everything against people and nothing's happened. But sticking on the Kick Vic and I Stand With Vic uh, issue, sup- uh, supposedly Kick Vic supporters have doxxed another person who is on the I Stand With Vic site. The person is um, Supergirl11, and what she is, uh, says on her actual bio that she is a investigator for the people, daily crime fighter, let me be your shield, and then she's got her email link, also got her YouTube page. But what has happened here is that she has actually had her real name and her address and everything else has been spreading online. It's now been leaked. And also there is a strong possibility they could start targeting her family like they have with the umbrella. Again, this is coming from Curse to Matthews. I'll, I'll leave this by here as well. And so if this is the uh, if this is the Kickvick side, then this is really horrible. It's really low as well because... You know, you know, curse Matthew, she said it right there. N- you know, not mad, really. No matter what side you're on, please do not stoop this low. That is absolutely true. Both sides now, uh, I do think both sides are getting desperate, but the Kick Vic side are getting even worse. The Kick Vic side, you know, they're doxing people, they're doing fake swattings, they're doing tons of shit, which is not right. It's absolutely horrible, and... You know, they, it shouldn't be going on like this. It's wrong. Wherever these people think, you know, that they think it's okay to do all of this, it's not right. And say, go Shell Zen, she also says it quite good as well. Fake swats, cyberbullying, mass reporting, doxing, false allegations, this group of voice actors, cosplayers and fans appear to be more and more like an organised criminal gang. And this anime conventions approve of these people. That's what makes us so bad. Out of everything, Vic has kept quiet on the whole situation. Yeah, there is a video of him from a convention talking about it, but obviously that is going to happen. He's not online, he's not spreading shit like Ron Soy, Monica Real, and Gio, Jamie Markey, and also Renfamous. All these people, you know, it's... They're claiming to be the victims, but victims do not act like this. If you are new to the channel, like and subscribe for future content, and we'll see you soon.